love our BFF Tuesday picnics, Harmony. Me too, sweetness. Okay. Have you got your famous Carolot cookies? Check. Honey banana musical bars? Check. Peanut butter cranberry sauce and marshmallow sandwiches sliced on a diagonal with the crust cut off? Check, check, check. I would never forget my BFF's favorite. And I've got your second favorite and your third favorite all the way up to your 17th favorite. Mmm, Cher, you always remember my favorite foods. Now that's a good friend. I have lots of friends, Harmony, but Tuesday is my favorite part of the week because it's time I get to share with my BFF. Best friends forever. I feel the same way, Cher. These picnics are special for you and me. You're such a good friend that sometimes you even know what you're about to say before you say it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're BFFs and always will be. To the forest of feelings, BFF, lead the way. Tuesday, Tuesday, never be blues day. <laughs> Hurry up, hugs. I'm almost finished planting all my flowers. Oh. <laughs> Grams. Now, which one of you cubs would like to run up the hill and bring down the rest of the flowers? Let me, Grams. I'll get them here safe and sound. And I'll get them here fast. But tugs, hugs, why not do it together? <laughs> oh. uh, let me do it, Tugs. No way, Hugs. I'm going to do it. Whoa! Too all right? We're okay, Grams. Sorry about the flowers. Oh, they'll be all right. In fact, this reminds me of a little story. A story? Oh, goody, goody, gosh! Yeah, it's nice to see you two agree about something. Now, let's see. Once upon a time, in the faraway kingdom of Heartland, there lived two princesses, two sisters as different as hot and cold. Princess Cheer Bear and Princess Treat Heart. And so the damsel in distress says to the knight, <laughs> I didn't know the big green thing was a fire-breathing dragon. I thought it was just a giant frog with garlic breath. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Treat Heart had a special gift for making people laugh. She was the most fun-loving person in the whole kingdom. And then there was Princess Cheer Bear, her sister. And with this clock tower, everyone in the kingdom will be able to see what time it is. But we have to build it first, so let's do it! Yay! You don't need to huff and puff, let's get it done. It's not that tough. We don't need to huff and puff, let's get it done. It's not that tough. <laughs> we did it! Yay! Well, if the smoothie is mostly milk and fruit, but we add just a touch of crackle fire pepper... Let's try it! Mm. Yummy! It's great! Beatsley, you just helped come up with tomorrow's treat of the day! The Spicy Spangled Smoothie! Oh, that's a good name for it. Oh, this place is amazing. There's always somebody to talk to, something delicious to eat, and everyone seems so happy. Uh, can I maybe come back here tomorrow? Of course, Beastly! In fact, you can come every day if you want. And maybe you can help me. I always need more treat of the day ideas. I'll do it! Try our treat of the day! Delicious! Oh, yum! Zowie! Amazing! Just the perfect note of spice! Pleasantly pleasing peanut butter and snapper cut cupcakes! <laughs> How about poppycorn and ginger kale? Crunchy caramel poppycorn ginger kale cups! Plum drops for texture? And seashells. Whew. The seashell parfait was another hit for the share shack. I've got to give it to you, Beasley. It's been super fun to have you as a helper. Care Bear Town opens. How exciting! Oh, I sure am glad I got all dressed up for the parade. The parade? Oh, gosh! I forgot all about the float. Gotta hurry. And a one, two, three, four. Keep in step, treat heart. 
If we want to win first prize, we better hurry up and finish this float. Well, it would be easier if Cheer would get here. After all, this is supposed to be a team effort. Yoo-hoo! Huh? huh? Here I am. Is that really you, Cheer Bear? The one and only. Well, how do you like my parade outfit? Oh, Cheer, you look like a dream. <laughs> Thank you. I... Cheer Bear, oh, I'd like a word with You've you. You've done wonders with the float. It even matches my new outfit. <gasps> now, settle down there, sports fan. If that car pulls our lovely float, we'll never win first prize in the Care Bear Town Parade. Come on, Cheer. You're way off base. This car's a winner. <laughs> So it needs a little glue. Uh oh. You were saying, Champ? Uh, maybe a lot of glue. Really? We're here to support you, so tell her what's on your mind. Why have you been bullying me since I got to school? So I play the ukulele. Just because you think it's dumb doesn't mean I have to stop playing it, or that you should make fun of me. It's none of your business. What have I ever done to you? Nothing. Madison, what's going on? Why have you been bullying Kaylee like this? I... I played the guitar. What? And when you came to the school, you stole my spotlight. No one cared about me or my talents anymore. And they were all excited about you, the new girl. Instead of being her bully, you could have just been her friend. I know it's hard, but you could have shared the spotlight. I was jealous. Jealous of Kaylee and the ukulele. So instead, you just decided you would bully me and make my life miserable. I'm sorry, Kaylee. Really, I am. Can you forgive me? Yes, I will forgive you, Madison. It's never okay to hurt someone with words or actions. That includes getting back at someone who is bullying you. I understand. The truth is, Kaylee, I would have liked to have learned the ukulele from you. Well, it's never too late! Ooh, I love a music lesson! Hey, Madison, what about the other kids? Don't worry, I got you covered. I'm going to tell them I was wrong, and that it isn't okay to bully, no matter what. Cool. And if anyone treats me like that again, I'll speak out and stick up for myself. And I'll stick up for you, too. <laughs> Forest Ranger Lots of Heart. I'm very pleased to meet you. Likewise. Thank you for freeing me. Oh, <laughs> it was nothing. To be honest, it's the most exciting thing that's happened all day. A Forest Ranger's job is pretty dull. Well then, maybe I can help you. Being a unicorn, I can grant you wishes. Really? Sure. Well, I always wished I had an exciting job. Like a movie star. So be it. Your fans await you. Movie star. Huh? Wow! I, I am a movie star. This is more exciting than being a forest ranger, and that's the truth. Okay, lots of hard baby. In this scene, you and Braveheart come running out of the inn, jump onto your horses, and go galloping off. Yes, sir, Director Grumpy. Anything you say. All right, everybody. Quiet on the set. Okay. Lights, camera, action! Yahoo! Okay, your turn, LH. Hmm? Oh, whoops! Hey, where did everybody go? 
Okay, L.H., in this scene, you and Braveheart are gonna jump onto the chandelier, swing over the dining table, and land on the other side. <laughs> no problem, Director Grumpy, sir. Okay! Action! Ta-da! Wonderheart! I'm so glad to see you! Really? Then, Uncle Tenderheart, why did you have Grumpy move into my room so I could never, ever move back home? What? Oh, no, Wonderheart. Grumpy just moved in temporarily while we fixed your room so we could finish it quicker. He also wanted to keep me company because, well, he knew I'd gotten lonely while you were gone. But I said I would stay with you. Well, I thought you just said that to be nice to good old Uncle Tenderheart. I said that because I missed you when I was homesick. But I thought you were having such a good time on the ship with the cousins. I was having a great time. I love spending time with the cousins. But my home is here with you. Oh, see? Everything worked out. <laughs> oh! Except for Grumpy. <laughs> On it. <laughs> Batman? <laughs> Baseball bat? <laughs> Umbrella hat! <sighs> as long as you're around, this thing is my new best friend. Yoo-hoo! Mr. Giggles! How about you stop lounging around so we can finally finish this room? Welcome, bears and cousins! Thank you for coming to the unveiling of the repaired lighthouse! Yeah, thanks to some crazy driving, it was more work than it needed to be. Shh! Oh, let it go, Grumpy. And now, what we've all been waiting 